So you know we talked about a meter from the left, mm -hmm. which is what you're doing. It's maintaining a meter at least from the right as well. Puts you in the middle of the road. Yeah. That's the safest place for you to be. So if somebody opens the door. <laughs> if, <laughs> that could not have happened at a better time, you know that. We're going to play a little game, Max. It's called independent driving. Have you ever heard about independent driving? Um, I could only imagine where you don't give me any instructions and I just drive. Yes. Follow the sat nav. Yes. yes. Now the sat nav is the more preferred way or the more common way of independent driving for your driving test. Okay. 20 minutes of your driving test will involve independent driving. 80% chance of using the sat nav. The 20% is following signs, or you may still be given a set of given directions okay. to follow. And this is what we're going to cover now. Max, I'm going to ask you to repeat this back to me after I've told you. Not because I think you're silly, but because I want to know that you've actually heard the directions and that you've understood them. Okay. So I'm not asking you to be condescending. I'm just asking to hear that you've heard the directions clearly, which may happen on your driving test. So now you know why the examiner might ask you to repeat back the directions. Okay. Okay. So at the second traffic light, the second traffic light, turn right. Turn right. At the end of that road, turn left. At the end of that road, turn left. Yes. And then take the second road on the right. And then take the second road on the right. <laughs> okay, so I'm going, taking a right the second round, of, uh, the second traffic light, going down to the end of the road, taking a left, and then second road, taking a right. That is correct. Now, for any set of independent driving, whether it's sat-nav, following signs, or you might be given a set of direction like Max has done, which is the most difficult one, Yeah. okay? you are allowed to still ask the examiner the directions. So Max is really starting to get into routines here. He's prepared his vehicle by putting it in drive, adding a signal. Now he's just waiting for an opportunity to do his all-round observations. Because there's traffic on the main road, he's waited until it's sort of passing. And now he's got his most dangerous blind spot in. He knows it's clear because he's looked over his right shoulder, moved out to the right, very nice moving away. Don't feel like there was any need to really check the left blind spot, mm -hmm. but you can involve that if yeah. you feel it might be necessary. Okay. Second traffic light, we're just coming up ahead, we're taking a right, so I'm going to stay on the right hand side. We talked roughly, or uh, briefly about the accidental left steering before right turns. Yes. So we'll see if that comes up. No, you said I'm going to try not to do it. Yeah. Even though I said it, you'll still do it. Watch. Love the faith you've got. You know. Because I've seen it too many times before. So I'm taking a right. Let's mm -hmm. try right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well done. Thank you for involving me in the conversation, and that's correct. So it's just put in front of this van. Yeah. Truck, you, yeah. You're doing it already. You're, you're just yeah, pushing. Yeah. yeah. To be in the lines, and you'll do it again now. Watch, you are allowed to wait in the yellow box. I thought I was keep clear sign though. If you're turning right, it's allowed, you're allowed to stop and wait in the yellow box. Clear the junction, and I take it back. I was wrong. So, when you did your right turn, you actually went straight and only steered right. That was good. Well, just because you said it, I'm going to look up for it. Good. That's the reason why I was saying it, to really try and get you to prove me wrong. Um, but a lot of time, uh, subconsciously, it still yeah. comes up. And it can come up for left turns. So, you've seen this bus stop. Yeah. Always drive over yellow. So, you can get right over that. It's not, it's, you don't have to avoid a bus stop. It's got heavy. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Really nice left steering as well. So you only steered left for your left turn. Well done. Sometimes people they swing out, and swing in. I think they just can't uh, cautious in case of the curb, I guess. Mm -hmm. Now remember the last set of directions. You're on the last part yeah, now. So the second right, 
Mm -hmm. So second road on the right. This isn't counted because this is just a parking space for the train station. Okay. So cool. it's not a road. See now I would have taken that as a road. Yes. So that's why I just mentioned that. Okay. So it's a bit like a driveway or a parking lot. Look for signs for roads. You see like that street sign up there? Is that street number yeah. one? Yeah. And you see these markings. Yeah. They highlight public roads, main roads, white lines, road markings. So it's number one. Yes. So where's number two? Yeah. Very nice position here, Max. Tell the viewers, what are you doing? How are you positioning your car? I'm positioning my car for a turn. Mm. In the centre of the road. Mm. Good. So the centre of the road that you were currently on, you were positioning close to that? Yeah, I was going to try and stay close to the middle of the road, so if anybody could squeeze past me, they could. Mm, good. Well done. But then again, after I've said it out loud, I was, it was more like a subconscious call, where it just happened more naturally, mm -hmm. because Scott's obviously been teaching me really well to get all these kind of habits in. So i just got to make sure not um, interfering with the flow of the traffic as much as possible. Do you remember there was an area on your right turns which needed a little bit of correction? Do you remember what it was? Something about the point where you start to steer yeah. right. Yeah, so I wasn't, I was turning too early mm. and I wasn't, start to turn in the middle of the road where the, the markings are. Well done. But then yes. again, that all depends on the situation you're in. It does. Okay. Okay. Excellent on your mirror checks to change the direction. So know all about the guy that's following. Yeah. Well done. Very nice position here, Max. You have the safety bubble yeah. around the car. So you know we talked about a meter from the left, mm -hmm. which is what you're doing. It's maintaining a meter at least from the right as well. Puts you in the middle of the road. Yeah. That's the safest place for you to be. So if somebody opens the door. <laughs> if, <laughs> that could not have happened at a better time, you know that. Come on, then to you're in the a road, safe please. position. Where am I going? Yeah? Left or right? Left, please. Max, I'd like you to pull up on the left, not on the pavement. So I just want you to pull up alongside the curbs, anywhere on this side of the road. Don't worry about driveways, don't worry about yellow lines, just anywhere will do. Amazing, secure the car. Where is a convenient or safe place to pull up on the left? What, now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, now? so we talked about the examiner saying, don't worry about driveways, stop on the yellow line, that's okay, or just pull over anywhere, don't worry about anything, cool. But if they don't say that and they ask you to pull over on the left, maybe they might say safe or convenient place, pull up on the yeah. left. Where is that safe and convenient place? Um, what are you well, looking for? How so do you know you can stop? Yeah. So, no, so look for your road markings, make yep. sure it's not a double yellow. Yep. Um, make sure you're not in front of any keep clear zones. Yep. Um, parking spots. Um, yep. Just make sure you're not obstructing anybody else's foot like, for good. driving. Very good. Yeah. That way you can just drive down, cruising, doing your mirrors, doing your signals, knowing there's a spot further down the road. Take it nice and gentle, moving in and stopping in a safe, convenient place. All right. So just in order to mention that because it's really important, you will be asked to pull up on the left at least three times, up yeah. to maybe four or five times on your test. Okay. That's how important it is. No, but I think um, I've been doing pretty all right pulling over and like, finding safe places. So, so far, so good. Thumbs up to me. <laughs> no, he has. You've been doing an excellent job.